Also, Burke Hardison. Yeah, it sounds made up, right? Sounds but, like you like a some the name of somebody from a soap opera. Sounds like some Neve would track down on Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what was the guy's name? Burke Hardison. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this next one is uh this is a short one. Unfortunately, Heather is not with us. She's on assignment, and that assignment is motherhood. Um, it happens. It does happen, especially cold and flu season, guys. It's real. Yeah. It's real. Um, but she would enjoy this one, so we're doing this in honor of Heather's absence. This one's called Joyride with John. This is uh, from a Redditor that goes by Jason is so handsome. Jason is handsome. Yeah, congrats, Jason. You did it. Not my story, but my history teacher's hitchhiker's story. As a teenager, my teacher lived in Cook County, Illinois, and frequently would walk around town as most people do. I what? don't do that. I used to. In, in Cal City, I would. And even in Vegas sometimes. Uh, one day, he was offered a ride by a largish man in a car and hitchhiked home. The driver had a clown suit and makeup kit in the back of his car because he said he worked as a clown part-time, which should have sent bells ringing, but he thought nothing of it. So he got driven to his mom's house and thanked the driver and left. My history teacher said the driver was one of the most polite people he had ever met. A few years later, my teacher found out that the man he got into a car with was John Wayne Gacy Jr. You know what's nuts is as you're reading this, I'm like, who would get into a car with somebody with a clown suit after John Wayne Gacy? Yeah. I'm like, no, man. Spoiler no. alert. It was beforehand. Yeah. Nuts. That is, oh, God. Can you, like, would you? He almost ended up in John Wayne G Gacy's basement. cellar. Yeah, basement. Yeah. Yeah, underneath those floorboards. What a story. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, there's some there's some horror stories out there that aren't necessarily paranormal in any sense of the word, but this type of stuff, I just sit there and picture like, okay, what happens if I got into a car with someone and you know found out a year, two years, three years, whatever later that oh that person is a well known serial killer that has been murdering people left and right, right, one of the most popular. Yeah, I don't know. Like the way my mind works, I would never be able to not stop thinking about that. Anyone that I met, I'd be like, is this person a serial killer? They're gonna kill me. They coming for me now? Yeah, that's that's a crazy, crazy story. Yeah. And from a like, it's hard to explain the effect that that guy's had on, I guess, serial killer culture. I don't know what you'd call it. Yeah. Just the fact that, it kind of is a culture now. I'd yeah. say it's a culture. Yeah, you know, or the you know, because you have all the true crime podcasts. But that was their people have always been fascinated in serial killers since they started learning about them. Yeah. And John Wayne Gacy is creepy as they get. Agreed. And well liked, you know. Apparently very polite. Yeah, met met with uh, Jimmy Carter and his wife. There's a picture of Jimmy Car Rosalind Carter with John Wayne Gacy at a political function because he was into politics where he lived. That sounds about right, huh? Yeah. Based on what we know about politics. Well, and then I think recently as we're recording this, I think maybe a week or two ago, I read something like they'd identified one of his victims that they hadn't been able to identify in a long time hmm. through DNA testing, if I remember right. Interesting. Scary. Yeah, nobody That's, wants that. Which is exactly why I don't want to hitchhike and I don't want to pick, pick up hitchhikers because out there that might be the next John Wayne Gacy. Thank you.